our Evil Genius 2 segment. Yes, Evil Genius 2 has finally some bigger news we have to talk about, and it's good news. Yes. Well, first things first, before we actually talk about the big news, let's watch the newest video they released. And it's an eight minute long video. It's, qu it's quite a bit. And this is basically them asking the question, can you play Evil Genius without being evil? I will be honest, that doesn't make sense to me. But I'm just curious what it is. And then we are talking about the big news. So let's watch this, shall we? Happens when you break the one sacred rule of evil genius and refuse to be evil. It's going to That's... be like Mardi Gras for minions as we try to play as a lovely, wholesome overlord. Well, let's have a look at this. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure I'm actually a far nicer person in video games than I am in real life. Real life's hard to navigate, isn't it? Full of Wait. moral murkiness, and you don't have any save games to fall back on when you go wrong. But in games, it's easy to make the world a better place. Not only is the right thing to say no. written out for you, in some games it's even colour-coded red or blue, so you're absolutely sure whether you're being an utter burk or a saint. And video games <laughs> being video games, the consequences of being an utter burk are usually enormous and involve explosions. So we're all good little game protagonists, aren't we? Looking for any way to make the game world a bit tidier by sweeping away all that evil, just as that the are filled and the quest markers get ticked off. Then games like Evil Genius come along and throw all that out of the window. Because being a baddie is the whole point here. You're going for world domination, building a big bomb, and trapping the definitely good guys in horrible devices that burn them or chop them in half. Yes, arms. yes. What's the right side player to do? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. Can you actually be a good person in Evil Genius? No. And if so, what happens when you are? Let's jump into a fresh island and be our nicest selves. But before we start, go ahead and boot that subscribe button and the bell to catch our content on the channel. You and should. settle into the strange sight of someone trying to be lovely in Evil Genius. Subscribe to my channel, thank you. Our first job here is to figure out all the ways that we're actually being evil in Evil Genius just by going along with what the game wants us to do. After that, we can contemplate whether it's even possible to do things differently. So, here we are, new island, fresh start. What's the first thing we do? Electricity. Build a base. And for whom does that task mean an enormous pain in a yellow jumpsuit covered posterior? Your poor minions. Picture a day in their lives. All right, mate, where have you been? We've been tunneling to solid rock for the last eight hours and you're still stood around here. Sorry, I just didn't want to leave this actual pile of gold bouillon unattended. Oh, oh my god. Them, actually. Boss wants them hauled into the strong He's doing the streamer thing. Right, and where has he built that? Well, obviously in the deepest and furthest to reach point of the Yes, this is from Rebellion. Sure, sure, sure. Hang about. Where's Rog? This is an Rog, official oh, video. Got shot. Come on then, mate, let's get those yes. boots on. They've got it tough, in other words. So the first thing we can do as an evil genius is to be the best damn employer ever to wrench a group of low paid employees away from their families to work on a desert island. I'm talking break rooms. I'm ah. talking luxury gyms in the chill out areas. Sounds like real life. I'm talking a mess hall with two salad bars. And did I mention break rooms? There's even flat screen tellies in there and everything. That's quite bling for 2004. And the strong room, a short, easily accessible walk from the starting zone. You are welcome, minions. Yes, we've built a base that's as luxurious and convenient for the minions who live here as it is structurally and defensively compromised. We've thrown every rule about security out of the window, but that shouldn't even matter. Let the forces of justice wander around in here because we're not doing anything illegal anyway. Right, our minions now live a life of luxury, have easy access to fire extinguishers and can't move for art. What? The same fire thing, extinguishers? Over and over and over again, but it's still art. Now what? What? Well, if you want to play legitimately without cheating, you hit a real hurdle very early on when the game asks you to kidnap and interrogate a maid. And maybe I'm being a bit puritanical here, but to me that sounds... I don't want to say evil because that's not the right word, but borderline inappropriate. The thing is, <laughs> if you don't do that, you don't get access to valet minions or any other type of minion and the game just basically grinds to a halt and then there you are and you're left without any way to make money. But, and just hear me out on this, what if we did a bit of evil, just a little bit, so that we could be net good 
in the end. Yes, a maid has uh, died inside our armory, but thanks to her sacrifice, that's how it we works. can now progress in the game and eventually maybe make more money the legitimate way. Except, as it turns out, we can't really. There aren't no. many ways to actually make an honest buck on this island at all, and in fact, most of the really lucrative endeavours involve absolutely hideous traps that deny even the mercy of death on the people stuck inside them. That's not lovely. That's evil. The only way to run this operation legit then is to make money from a, a hotel. hotel casino front, taking cash off passing tourists and then using a gold enhancer in the strong room to maximise profits. So we're going to have to use cheats here just to get to that stage, otherwise we'd have to spend so much time playing the game as intended that our rap sheet would be too long to ever redeem ourselves for. Think of it like a business loan from the bank. It's like real life. Demands. And voila. Everyone is cheating nowadays anyways. Casino and lounge staffed like, by hastily recruited valets. It doesn't make a difference. Wait for the business to roll in. Nobody's playing by the rules anymore. Right. Well, this is quiet. Where are all the flipping tourists then? I've even got a lad playing piano in the lobby. This is lovely. Why aren't people flocking in? Because it turns out tourists are actually attracted to your island by notoriety. And since the only bad thing we've done so far is killer made in secret, we're not notorious yet. If we want any chance of turning this operation straight, we're going to have we to, have to blow up stuff first. I think they call that a paradox, but now's not the time for academic thinking. Let's crime. Sending a few workers out to plot and but steal around the world should get us noticed by the authorities and as an obvious evil? result of that, put us on the map as a hot holiday destination. And would you look <laughs> at that, fresh off the um, military helicopter, here come some tourists. We spend quite a while mentally willing them towards our awkwardly placed hotel while a staff full of valets sit around waiting to shuffle some cards and they edge ever closer. Will our plans for borderline loveliness come to fruition? Can we beat the system and send evil packing in evil genius? Hang on, hang on, that does not look good. What's she doing? Why is she, she doing She is that? working out. Let's check her panel. Oh, panicked by lovely painting. So if I'm understanding this right, what? all our efforts to be nice, the minion focused living, the luxurious accommodation, the minimal crime, the hotel, the lot, is completely the undermined cheating. by lovely painting. The very thing we've been placing absolutely everywhere just to make the place a bit more lovely. Well, game over. So, can you play Evil Genius without being evil? Well, with the help of some cheats, no. turning a blind eye to some early game I mean, and, uh, well, look, who are we kidding? No, you flipping car. Evil is so interwoven into this classic game that if you try to swim against the tide, well, it just lands you with a very expensive hotel with a turnover of zero and the world's most decadent minion hostel, which isn't so much lovely, that's just plain wasteful, really. No. However, with Evil Genius 2 just around the corner, you can almost see it from here, in fact, we're very interested to see what I mean, we can, can do you with play Evil Genius 2 without Will being it be evil? A chance to be lovely after all these years, or does number two mean twice the nefarious deeds? Well, we'll find out in the first half of this year, so get that subscribe button clicked for more adventures in spy fi moralism to come. Thank you for watching, everybody. Leave awesome. us a like if you had a laugh, and until next time, go easy on those lovely paintings. You should definitely do that. So let's talk about the actual big news. Um, now, after we had a little bit of a laugh, I actually like this. I actually like this. This was all right. Um, the big news is Eva Genius 2 will announce their release date tomorrow. They will have a new premiere um, happening tomorrow on YouTube. Yep, yep, yep. It will happen in about 24 hours. We will get a new trailer and that is where they will actually announce the release date of Evil Genius 2. And I cannot wait because they also, uh, this has been a few days, I admit, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit slow on the Evil Genius 2 news. Please don't hurt me much. But they also released a new development blog where they are talking about traps. Yup, 
They're talking about lovely traps like the Venus spy trap. Nom 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 nom. Munching away. And I think what they are really like talking about is A, making the traps look much more appealing and making it much more funnier to look at them. But they are also talking about the gameplay changes for the traps in Evil Genius 2. So traps, of course, were an essential part in Evil Genius 1. If there wouldn't be as many problems as they are. Uh, traps in Evil Genius 1 were very much self-contained. Yeah, there were some traps you could combine, but most of the stuff was very much self-contained in what they did. And most importantly, my minions. Well, let's just say they used the traps more than some of the spies. So, yeah, they had, they had their issues. And you can see some combinations of new traps right here. See that one? That's pretty cool. I love that trap combo. Like, this looks really amazing. And I definitely want to build them. And I want to see how they go. So that's what they are talking about here. About the whole thing of how to make traps more viable. And I said it before, like, one of the biggest things or one of the biggest problems Eva Genius 1 really had that your minions were sometimes so dumb that they were walking into the traps more than your enemies. And it was more expensive to <laughs> maintain your minions than actually building traps and caughting some enemies in it. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's the thing. Uh, they're also talking about interrogations here. Uh, if you don't know how interrogations work in the first time in the first game, interrogations were basically a way to trap a class from the world map. Like it's let's say you needed a valid, you captured that valid on the world map, brought it home, and then transformed one of your worker minions into the valid. And then the valid could start to teach other worker minions to become valids. That's basically how they did it in the first one. Yeah. Um, now they are also talking about that you can actually interrogate not just, well, NPCs and getting something out of it, but you can also interrogate um, spies coming into your base and they can actually start to help you out. Like they can give you information and traps can also help to interrogate people. So that's a pretty neat addition. Like Evil Genius 2 is very much taking Evil Genius 1 and adding a lot of quality of life improvements. And I'm really, really happy about that because I, I said it in the video before, like Evil Genius 1 even though the game came out in 2004, is still a game which holds up nowadays because the groundwork is absolutely solid. But you clearly notice that the game is from 2004 and it didn't really receive like a lot of patches, balance changes, quality of life improvements, and so on and so forth. So I'm actually really happy to see that Evil Genius is continuing it. And tomorrow... We will talk about the release date of Evil Genius 2, and we will certainly watch the video together. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like under the video. And I hope I see you tomorrow for the Evil Genius 2 Word Domination release date video. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.